your attitude about the Philippines as an expat change over time? The answer to that is yes. Um, I know myself and I know many, many other people that have had quite a strong viewpoint on the Philippines and how great it is. Um, when you're going to go there, it's like, oh, we can change this, we're going to do that, we're going to do... And then over a period of time, you have people steal from you, you have things go wrong, you have things where you're just like, why are people doing this? Um, there's lots of strange things that happen. A prime example of that was somebody who gave away their land before they died to stop their children and grandchildren getting in disputes over who gets what. They got sick and none of those members of the family would actually donate to the medical bills that let the person die. Um, they would have still been here today if it would been if they hadn't have sold their land to give it well sorry and given their land to their children. Um, that is the realities of the Philippines and I'll get people give me that on here saying you you got no right to talk about my country like that it's like you've got to take life as it is um, it's like when I talk about the beaches and the pollution the, next, the first thing people say is like oh yeah but the beaches in the UK are crap whatever I never said they were great that's the difference that that is the difference I'm not saying they're fantastic I couldn't actually tell you how good the beaches are because I don't use them because it's too cold um, but here in Spain, the beach we got here is fantastic. Um, the lake of that opposite. It's fantastic. Uh, but the whole point is, you've got to be able to turn around and go, well, it's good or bad. And the problem with media to the, today is it often pushes, there's only one outcome here, and it's often, it's got to have a positive one rather than accept that something may not be right. Um, I know on the scandals and stuff they just love rubbing people's noses in it but the in general people don't play things up in the right way they don't just say it's nice or whatever um, but at the same time if you, with the Philippines I find if you actually say something that's quite critical and honest people often don't like to hear it um, but at the same time it's for information if somebody needs to know that people are putting uh, bullets in your bag from Manila Airport, it's not me being negative about the Philippines. It's the fact that you've got a corrupt custom system. Um, that's the reality. It's not, it's not that it's just targeting uh, foreigners because obviously it happens to Filipinos. So whatever way you cut it, it's information. So I would say over a period of time, because when you first go there, you're in holiday mode, you're loving it, you've met the love of your life, everything's new, you like rice and chicken with soy sauce every day, and oh, listen to that tin bouncing off the, uh, the, the rainwater, bouncing off the tin roof, and the fiesta at level 11 for up until 4 a.m. is fantastic because it's all new and look how wonderful everything is. And then after a period of time, you're trying to sleep and your eyeballs are bouncing in your head because the fiesta is still going on at 4 a.m. The, the bouncing of the rain is nice to hear unless you're trying to do a Skype call or something else that involves some concentration with talking to somebody else. Um, when somebody has a road accident, they cut their leg off because they can't afford to have better healthcare services. Those little things bug you. Um, now, I'm not saying they have a strong negative impact. Uh, for myself, I was talking to somebody earlier today about healthcare. Um, the fact is, a lot of the healthcare in the Philippines, expats don't even think about until something happens and then suddenly they need 23,000 pesos and an ongoing running bill because we won't let them leave the hospital till the bill's paid etc that's when they start thinking about it those are the things that change over time because once you've had a motorbike accident or something you think oh i was lucky there um i need to make sure i've got some cover because i can't afford two of those accidents and those change your life the change of viewpoints. The Philippines is still the country you love, but your perspective has changed a little bit. Um, and that's when you start talking to other people who have been there a period of time and they'll tell you about the problems they've had, etc. But when you talk to new expats, they can often be in your ear like this because they know better. They've just got off the plane. They know it. They've read They've read it on, um, what's that, that book called? Uh, um, the Lonely Planet or something. I know everything. 
Um, and you're just like, all right, I'll see you in six months' time. But things change over a period of time. It doesn't mean you love the country any less. It just means that you're better informed and you take things more with a pinch of salt. When somebody says they're going to do something or something, you're like, okay, I'll wait and see. Completely changes. Thanks for watching.